Hey Campaholics, we are at Curry Hammock State Park in Marathon Key, Florida. We have been here for three weeks. Get ready for an exciting adventure because we have done a lot in these last three weeks in the Keys. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics. Okay, but Hulks, we're going to tell you all about our three weeks in Florida Keys. Unfortunately, we weren't able to film this wrap-up video in the Keys. We're at East Bank Corps Engineer Park in Georgia. Bainbridge, Bainbridge Georgia. Georgia. It says Bainbridge, really. It's Chattahoochee. Or Chattahoochee is where we're in, but yeah. But we were in the Florida Keys for 21 days. We started our journey off at Fiesta Key RV Resort. We were there for seven days. I'll post a link up here. You can check out that video by clicking that link if you want to check out Fiesta Key RV Resort. Then we went to right. Curry Hammock yes. State Park. We booked that 11 months to the day yes. prior. Because Florida State Parks, you got to get up at 7.59, get on the computer, at 8 o'clock you hit send. And we took whatever dates we could get. Yep. We, we really didn't have any. We wanted sooner, but we took whatever we could get that was and first stop that was first plan stop of our full-time life and then we built everything else around it so Correct. yes hey camp Hawks, we just arrived first night curry hammock state park absolutely beautiful sunset right over there right behind us we're here for two weeks so we got a lot to show you curry hammock became a state park in 1991 it was named for Lamar and Louise Curry, uh, a teacher from Miami whose father purchased tracts of the land in the middle and upper keys. So basically he owned a lot of land in that which involves Curry Hammock State Parks, which was donated back to the state because she wanted to see it preserved. Yes, there was lots of stipulations as to what they could do with it. And so it got its name from her and the hammock trees that were in that area, which I still never did figure out which trees were the hammock trees. There are several varieties of hammock trees, uh, but no, I never really did. I thought I figured them out and then I wasn't hundred percent sure. Uh, so, but yeah, that was a beautiful place. And it was more than just Curry Hammock State, Curry Hammock State Park that he donated. He donated lots, she donated lots of other lands to different agencies. The beachfront, not much on the beachfronts there. Um, no, it was, um, there wasn't much beachfront when the tide came in, definitely for sure. Yeah, on, um, the, on high tides, you, there's not a whole lot of beachfront. No. A lot of seaweed has washed up, maybe from the high winds we had the pr week prior. All right, to get this video started off, I'm going to take you for a tour of the campground. I'm going to uh, go counterclockwise so you can see deep into the sites uh, the site post the numbers aren't going to be displayed unfortunately because I wanted you guys to see deep into the sites what each the individual site looks like the way the campground is set up so here we go it was a nice quiet park mm -hmm. small you got to meet a lot of people just out and about walking around tent campers and regular and campers all mixed in together was no separate areas all right so all in all the campground has 28 total sites uh, the, the views from the campground are spectacular especially during a full moon uh, which we had we had a full a moon nights of oh it just lit that campground up mm -hmm. the, you can see the stars the Milky Way it was beautiful beautiful place all right, so Curry Hammock has 28 total sites. It is water and electric only. They do have a bathhouse. The bathhouse is big enough and very clean. Very clean. Cleaned every day at 11 o'clock on the day. dock. Yep, 11 o'clock. They close the bathhouse up to clean it. They have uh, one, two, three, three or two? Two camp, what are you talking about? Camp hosts? Camp hosts that actually two. live on the loop. There's two on the loop and then there's two up by the ranger station. So there's. Oh, is that what they were? Yep. So there's okay. four couples taking care of that 28 person, 28 
site campground. So the bathhouse was very clean, very immaculate. The beachfront is very clean. The whole place is clean. Everything's clean, clean, clean. So you're going to yeah. love the place. You yeah. are going to love the place. Don't, you can have no wood fires. No yep. ground fires is the only quote unquote drawback to that campground that I could think of. Yeah, no ground campfires. Uh, of course, if you have a uh, like a propane fire pit or a fire kit like we have the little red fire. You could have one, but you had to have it elevated. above ground and it had to have a metal cover on it or something like that. But. Yeah. There's one hiking trail within the park itself. It's very short. Uh, it'll take you through the woods and behind the actual campsites. There is an area where you can let your dog run. Uh, there's it's probably the size of a football field within the uh, area of the hiking trail. You'll see lots of holes in the ground from the land crabs. Uh, I didn't get any video and of it. Iguanas. And But there's iguanas, land crabs, and little geckos running all over the place. Yep. Uh, the people there are super friendly. The ranger staff, you can get mail there. Uh, the ranger staff will mm -hmm. accept your mail if you're sitting there long term like we were for 14 days. There is campground has a dump station and a trash trash and recycle center recycling center everything is within walking distance everything is within 100 yards yep. they you, have a you cannot you don't have to walk very far no they have at least at least three ada sites that were all paved that we could see We did uh, some geocache. I've always wanted to geocache, so I set up. The, I downloaded the app to the phone, and geocache is cool in the respect that it gets you out in different places. It forces you to see different things. If you want to geocache, uh, it's it's corny, I guess, for me as an older adult. But I don't know what the purpose of it is. I, I, just an activity. I think it's just a, it's it's an a, activity. It's a scavenger hunt. Scavenger really hunt basically activity. Basically, what yeah. it is. Especially if you have kids, and you can use that to get out and about and enjoy time with your kids as they enjoy the mystery of the geocache. But finding the clue, I guess, yeah. learning to read the map, find the clue, yeah, is teachers, kind of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah teaches you map reading, land navigation, uh, searching for the uh, clue, or searching for the uh, geocache itself. So, but anyway, <laughs> our first geocache spot, uh, we loaded up our e-bikes. We're going to go hunt for this geocache, and we happen to stumble across the Curry Hammock Trail uh, in the woods that takes you. Literally, was like the sign to the trail was like right there at the at a foot the, from the geocache. Yeah, and, the and geo we happen to go. Oh, there's a trail. Yeah, and the geocache box was called head of the trail. So we go to the Curry Hammock Trail. I'm glad you're laughing to about the head it, of the trail. It still makes me mad. <laughs> We found the geocache, and oh, lo and behold, there's a trail here. So let's go on this trail with the bikes and watch this. All right, Camp Hawks, today we're going to geocache. I've always, I've always wanted to do this, so, so I downloaded the app on my phone. Uh, maybe, hopefully, you can see it right there. But we're going to get on the bike and I go look for this little thing right here. It says head of the trail. We're gonna try and find that item, sign it, put it in a log book as our first catch with it. Is that or something? Look at this, today's Missy's first day with a helmet on. Look at her. Ain't she cute? All right, Cape Hawks, we just found our first geocache. That don't look like it though, but it is. You hold the phone, look at that. Look at this, this is cool. Bring a card to put in there? Of course not. Look at that. There's a little blog book to sign. Isn't that neat? Mike? Yeah, Missy. You should let me write it because you're nasty writing. The Campoholics. Somebody got engaged here. What? 523 2021. And we are at the uh, Curry Hammock State Park Nature Trail Trailhead. One and a half mile trail. Uneven trail. Doesn't say no bikes, does it? No, it just says proper footwear. Okay, we're going to ride this trail. 
<laughs> hey camp hawks we are on the <laughs> curry hammock trail and it said very rough terrain proper shoes required that should have been our dumbass clue to say you can't say ass you can't take bikes <laughs> so we're walking our bikes on the surface look at the surface 60 pound bikes and this is the walking surface roots so, rock coral whatever you want to call it all over the place this was our dumb move if it says rough terrain why did we what, what? i didn't read rough terrain i said it and i even said to you it says we gotta have proper shoes i got freaking hey dudes on i didn't remember that part michael and plus there's poison in here let's go there's poison in here come on i can't get in here. Alright, we're going to continue here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little shot of this trail. Good thing we got uh, <laughs> electric bikes. We can push the uh, pedal assist. I'm not doing that because it takes it gets away from me. I'm not strong enough for that. I'm just... Oh! Oh, 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 o
and this is how far out we are here at Curry Hammock State Park. Got our, we, we kayaked out here. I got my six pack of beer. We got our new friends over here. They kayaked out here. We said, hey, come on, let's go to the sandbar. Have a good time, relax. So this is pretty cool. <clears throat> here at Curry Hammock State Park, there's some more people coming out on their kayaks. Here we are Memorial Day weekend. It's just us. It's a beautiful thing. Look at this water. Look at this water. Look how clear this water is. And look how far we are. You don't see this back in the Atlantic of Delaware. Water is not this clear. So this is this is sweet. Got some people over there. Came in on those boats. They're hanging out. Everybody, everybody wave. Oh, look at that, look at that fish. Going right through there. Came right through us. And then they get sponsorships and stuff. So yeah. yeah. So they're easily making between six and ten thousand dollars a month. So yeah, you should quit fucking job. So we're hanging out here with Ed and Lucy. Pardon me, miss. <laughs> we're hanging out here with Ed and Lucy from their Instagram channel called We Are Re Entering Life. What was it? <laughs> we are re <laughs> <laughs> what we are we are we are we venturing life we are venturing oh, life our, yes yes yes, yes. I know. venturing life i've got it i okay. know venturing life we are venturing life god there we go are you bloggers are yeah you what's your channel well i do the create the youtube channel yeah we have our instagram and okay all it's right called earthbound and free Earthbound and free. What about you? You said you are? Yes. We're, we're, we're the campaholics. Oh, I saw oh, yeah. your sticker. Yep. I saw your trailer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. Those are blow ups. That's cool. Yeah, they yeah. are a lot. They're, they're a lot of fun. We put it under the bed. Under the bed? Yeah. All right. When it's like. So do they. Do they is that wood? Yeah, they fold well, the they're impressive pieces like, of equipment. I mean, like, like really for an inflatable, you're, they're just like, wow. I mean, yeah, not, it's not like that. What's that? Is it the same brand? Are you happy with them? Two no. different ones, and uh, yeah, they're. I oh. love. I mean, you can get. I think it's. Work. I think it's the best equip, water equipment you can buy for about four hundred bucks. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ed. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> tell me about the medic. <laughs> the no. Dometic thermostat. Yep. That comes in half of the RVs. <laughs> it's supposed to be touch touch screen. It doesn't work, the medic. You need to up, remove the faceplate. And they hit the terminals. It works like a charm. But otherwise, it's a piece of shit. No, piece of crap. Piece of crap. All right, Hawks, after we wrap up a couple days on the sandbars, we just, and Ed and Lucy left and we cried. Yeah, we did. We uh, went to Crane Point Hammock, which is a nature conservatory. So we're going to take you a little on a video tour of this place. Great nature trails. We went to the At Adderley, Adderley House. house. Uh, he's one of the first settlers of Key West. He boated over there from the Bahamas. He harvested sponge mm -hmm. from the floor, ocean floor. From the ocean floor that he found in, in the key area, which happened to be a marathon. I guess it was the most uh, best place for him to harvest the, hu harvest the uh, sponges. So that's where he settled and built a house there and then, then established a family. So he's one of the first settlers of the Florida Keys, aside from the Native Americans that might have been there. I'm not real sure yet. George Adderley. George Adderley, yes. So you got to see his house in this video. In this video, you'll see his house and the, also the, the Mr. and Mrs. Crane's house, who uh, were millionaires from the Northeast who built one of the first houses also for a modern man down in the Florida Keys, and they built the first two-level house it was a novel house that everything else was based off of from that point on and they bought pretty much an entire point which was crane point hammock this nature area they donated it back to or no a conservatory committee bought the land, bought for the land. through donations and put a link and, to this from the there, there is a story there's a story okay. but anyway it would it's 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 open to tour i mean it it looks really really cool it reminded me of the Brady house. We're gonna get a fish pedicure. Stick your feet in the water and the little fishies will nibble on them. 
Let's get my nasty feet. They need to get to work. It kind of tickles. Look at them. Oh, they are. They are. Hey, Camp Hawks. Today we're going to go to several places. We were told to check out Florida Steak and Lobster for their happy hour. It just got dark in here. Florida Steak and Lobster for their happy hour. It's, it's happy hour from 11 to like 6 p.m. Great prices on the food. Uh, some people highly recommended it, so we're gonna check that out. I got a little mo started up, ready to roll. Turn the water off, no. Got to turn the water off. Turn the water off to your RV when you leave it for an extended period of time. You don't want to flood and you not be there. You know, you get a line bust or something break or something. So let me go turn the water off to the RV. Anytime you leave your RV for an extended period of time, turn that water off. So we're going to go to Florida, steak and lobster for happy hour, noon, to get, get lunch. And then we're going to no name key to the no name bar we'll check that out sounds very interesting just the just the name of itself the no name key or no name key the no name bar I got the steak kebabs. We have a YouTube channel. Oh, great. Got the steak kebabs or prime rib kebabs. Look at that. Look at them loaded taters and what, what'd you get? Spinach artichoke dip. Spinach artichoke dip. Like real spinach artichoke. Like real pieces of spinach. It's not that. It's real spinach artichoke dip. Mm hmm. This geocache is located on the National Key Deer Wildlife Refuge. It was established in 1957 to preserve and protect the deer population. We don't protect the deer population in Delaware. Yeah, we we, we, we run kill over, them. We run over them with my car. The deer is a big deal here. So this uh, this was placed here by the staff. This, only staff members can place a cache here. So it says, watch out for poison wood. You don't need to touch the poison wood to find a cache. We never stop here if we didn't do the geocaching. Oh God, one more thing to do. He finds the weirdest crap. Okay, just for the record, I find nothing but creepiness when I'm doing this by myself. I don't like being in this unfamiliar territory. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and get me. They give me back though. Oh man! This is Eric's cam. Um, Brenna and Dad have discovered there's a dime, a penny, and some kind of card. There's no logbook. Oh yeah, there's a logbook. So let's under there. There's another one. I thought these in there. I think they were even die. Back. What's 
be mom. She woke him up. Listen to her. Listen. Oh. Well, that was a cool little geocache here on this. I think it's national land. National refuge. Oh yeah, national wildlife refuge. Never would have got down here for one for the geocache app. Um, there's, there's the end of the road right there. So now we're going to go find No Name Pub. We just made it to the No Name Pub in, on No Name Key. We got this hint from Changing Lanes, Chad and Tara. Watching their videos. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Somebody else told us that the other day. Chad and Tara were here. Of course, we're not as cool because I'm not on an Indian motorcycle. I'm in a smart car. Yeah, we're not as cool. But we're going to go in and check out the uh, No Name Pub. Waiting area, no food service. Service dogs, welcome. What is it for? Built in 1936. What do you think? I'll try a uh, No Name Okay, would you Amber. like a souvenir glass? No, babe. What? No, no, thank no. you. Okay. I, li I live in an RV. I need all the room I can get. Yeah. The video is kind of dark because this place within itself is dark. It's really dark in there. Mm -hmm. But how much? How much value? Four hundred. Four hundred thousand dollars worth of dollar bills. So stapled, they're estimated. Estimated. To have, yes, to have. Stapled to the walls and the ceiling of this place. After we got done the No Name Pub, we took a ride to the No, no Name Key. We drove to the end of the road. And while we're on our way down that road, across this bridge to the end of the road, at the end of the no-name key, was a deer, why are you looking at me funny, was a deer walking on the road, <laughs> a no-name, or a, a, a key deer, the deer, the, the, the deer. The key deer, they're called key deer. Key, yeah, key deer, they're, they're, they're about cuter as, than regular deer. They're about as tall as a Great Dane or a large dog. Like an endangered species down there. Yeah, they're they're real concerned about they're their all, deer. They love them deer. Yeah. All right, Camp Hawks, we're down at the fishing hole here. Uh, somebody just left their oars there. I have to come back and get them. I'm going to cast out here. I can stand out there, waist deep, cast out. I'm using shrimp and trying to catch something out here. Let's see what happens. to go around island peninsula it's not island around the the border the border of this park curry hammock state park we're going to just hover around the side and then go through the mangrove path and we're going through the mangrove path so it's gonna be cool so we'll take you for the ride jellyfish look at this jellyfish it's kind of ugly on top bottom of them kind of looks like the surface oh, baby one yeah bottom of them kind of look like the surface of the of the uh, yeah. sea bottom so pull yourself through with <laughs> your hands
Yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can get her in there. Yeah, I can. Look, look. She's stuck. Grab that branch overhead. I twist yourself around. Yeah. Hope they ain't in a poison tree. Hold on, Camp Hawk. She's stuck again. Hey, she's stuck again. Hold on. Let me get turned around here so I can get some video of it. Damn, the current's strong. Well, stupid idea. Stupid is, stupid does, miss. Babe, you're fighting the wrong way. No, babe, I can't get, I'm too big to get turned around. It's my point. Leave me alone for a minute, okay? <laughs> Give me a minute. Hey, you get ahead of me. Yeah, go. No! <laughs> I'm never, ever doing a dumb adventure again. Sharon, what's up, this? Birdines or Birdines. Uh, I think it's Birdines. The food was great. I got a, a, a tuna milk and the tuna was freshly caught. It was delicious. All right, Cast, we went to we, well, our final day there. We met Scott and Jackie. Uh, they came to us, stopped by our campsite, said, Hey, come on, we're going to go to Castaways. And we only talked to them for about five minutes. Hey, we're going to Castaways for lunch. If you want to join us, come on out. So okay, so we went out there. We stopped by Castaways for lunch. Pretty cool place. Uh, you'll see the video. Happy hour special. Happy hour Same specials. Thing, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So we'll show you that video right here. Put your YouTube. <laughs> so I wonder how many. Intoxicated people have gone to the bathroom and mistakenly fall into this water. It's pretty out here. This is Castaways. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Subscribe below. Ring the bell for notifications for our next video. Uh, let thanks. us know what we missed. Yeah, let us know what we missed. If you've been to Curry Hammock State Park, comment below. Tell us all about your stay. Tell everybody else the hints, tricks, tips that you may have for Curry Hammond State Park. Ugh. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.